I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher, and this is the Doctor's Guide Podcast, raw and unfiltered. And once again, bringing to you the situations that might be your problem in your life, or maybe someone that you know. And why do I say that? Well, the truth is, is that, you know, we are what we call cyber cybernetic beings, and we are exposed to a lot of, you know, toxic environments around us. I mean, just think of the media and think of all the smoke and everything else. And so our bodies get challenged. Our minds get challenged. And being a cyber cybernetic being, like I think it was Maxwell Maltz who, who talked about this. He was actually a plastic surgeon. You know, we are target oriented. So we've got goals. But when things get in the way of our own personal goals, then we have to figure out a way around them. And sometimes it's our beliefs, but sometimes it's a physical issue. And so if you're like me and like many other people who want to optimize their health, you're going to go search on the internet and try to figure out what it is that you can do. Or you can also go to your doctor. But I'm finding that a lot of people are searching on the internet because there's so much valuable information there. But the question is, what can you trust? And not so much, you know, if it's a, a real deal, but if it's really appropriate for you. And so through role play on this podcast platform, totally different than anything else. We're not selling a product. We're not hyper promoting anyone. We're just sharing with you the process by which you can make the best decisions for yourself. And we do that with my amazing guests. I'm always overwhelmed by the magnificence of every single one of them and the magic that they bring and the insights that they can share with you. So one of them will present with a problem and the other will help guide them towards some form of resolution in about six minutes. You'll be surprised how often we get amazing breakthroughs through that. But the point of the matter is, is that you get to witness yourself in this particular challenge, or maybe somebody that you love or care about, and so that you can also let them know to watch this podcast. And after that, you know, we'll unpack this, this uh, role play. And hopefully, and that's the plan, is that you leave with some sort of distinction or action step that you can take to then optimize your health. So we'll start off with the introductions and I'll have each of my guests introduce themselves just briefly. We'll jump into the role play for about six minutes and we'll unpack it until the show will be about 25 minutes in total. So Kendra and Kenny, thank you so much. Uh, Kendra has been on the show before, so please introduce yourself. We'll go with Kenny, whatever is on, on your mind, whatever is present in your heart, just go ahead, share that. We'll do the role play and then we'll unpack it all. Kendra. Yes, thank you for having me back. I am Kendra Kanoy, and I help people with joint pain get back to their favorite activities and sports uh, without having to take any more pills, shots, or having surgeries, ideally. And I have been um, evolving in my whole process of how I help people for about 14 years now, all stemming from an injury that I had that ended my dance career and started, you know, the journey. I think most most health coaches, practitioners tend to have their own journey. And that was mine in figuring out, oh, things that I'm taking in, in my diet and my lifestyle, in, um, in my head and my brain were all affecting whether or not I was healing. And so I have now taken this process and created the accelerated regeneration process to help other people. And she's very humble because what I know about her is that her entire process is quite transformative. So it's not just, you know, healing the knee, but it's everything. And I would call it a more of a unified approach to optimize your healing. And she does such a wonderful job. So definitely seek her out. Kenny, thank, thank you. you for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. So I'm Kenny Rago, um, and I work with people to break their habits of perpetual suffering um, to ensure success when they go into a healing protocol, whether it be spiritual, mental, you know, or on the physical level. Um, I have about 30 years experience in training people in mindset. Um, I started out as a mindset motivational speaker in marketing companies in New York City, Philadelphia, Boston, and then California, you know, um, and just working with people to really get them into that success and that of, you know, what they're doing and the mindset behind what they're actually doing and what they want to accomplish 
with their their acts, whether it be going to a doctor or whether it be going on a, to a brand new sports team or um, just wanting to become, you know, more in tune with themselves. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning a lot more from you, because what I know is that pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice. And so what all that programming is behind us. And I, I assure the, the listeners that you're pretty amazing at this. So let's go into the role play. Uh, who's presenting with a problem? And we'll just jump in. So, hi, Kendra. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, Kenny. Nice to meet good. you. So I saw you and I hear that you have um, a program that might be able to help me. I have had this knee problem from my life. I mean, it seems like it's always perpetual. It's just always going on no matter what I do. I've tried different diets. I'm not sure if it was the right diet or anything, but um, I want to get back into being pain-free after playing golf and playing, you know, be doing my job and everything. And so I'm hoping that you have some insight on maybe how I can get rid of this joint pain in this knee. Okay. So you've tried various... Um elimination programs? Have you eliminated things from your diet before? Well, people tell me, you know, there's inflammatory foods that go on and or different things that I can do. And I've tried them. I mean, I haven't really, I mean, tried them to a hundred percent, but I have tried them to where I eliminated like alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I felt, I felt better. My knee pain wasn't as excruciating coming out out of a eight hour day of being on my knees laying tile right right yeah so I find that people will try different pieces and uh like Bart said in the introduction there are there's so much out there and we have Google University available to us and YouTube University and yes the alcohol typically will have an impact on people. Yes, sugar will have an impact. Gluten has an impact on a lot of people. There's all these different pieces of the puzzle. And if you've been having this for on and off your whole life, there's also the ebb and flow of your stress levels and your life situation and um, things like that. And so the accelerated regeneration program that you've seen of mine is really a chance to pull all of these tools in together um, at once and ideally at a hundred percent ish, you know, as, as, as well as we can do knowing that we are humans and we do, um, enjoy things. However, you know, part of, of a longer conversation we can have is if you're ready to really make those changes, you know, so it's awesome to give up, to give up alcohol and, you know, certain things they can definitely be challenging, but I find that if you are really, if, if the pain is enough and if your, if your lifestyle, you know, like doing tile and whether your work has been impacted or your social life or your family life or whatever it is, has been impacted enough to motivate you to then say, I don't care. There's no amount of food, sugar, um, you know, media, like anything that you, you'd be willing to give up any of it in order to heal. And, and that's part of my, you know, job really is to help is to assess whether someone is ready and then maybe to lay out, um, you know, how things can go right. I mean, you, you have an injury, Maybe it's something small like a meniscus tear, which is still significant, but you're not down the road to a knee replacement. But I've actually helped people either who are about to have a knee replacement or have already had one and want to avoid another. And when you've had the experience of your joint being cut out and a metal one being put in or whatever materials they use now, um, that that is something that can be a really strong motivator that people want to avoid. So really, I ask you, like, are you ready to make changes or are you still in the dabbling phase of wanting to just see if there's a quick fix? Well, um, I mean, I've been on 
Google and just so much searches on, you know, how to get rid of joint pain, you know, and a lot of them talk about, you know, going to the doctor and getting a cortisone shot in there, but that's expensive. And, you know, over the time of the years, it's just this big thing that I've seen, like with my, with my, you know, family members that have done the th same thing, they're perpetually having to go in and getting cortisone shots at a thousand dollars a shot and this mm -hmm. and that, you know, and, um, I don't want to get into that cycle of relying on paying money out every single time I'm in pain a little bit, you know, from the day, just so that I can go to work. And I know that there's gotta be something else that I can do to alleviate the, the inflammation in my joints at the, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And I think, the important thing to think of is the knee is what's speaking to you right now and has spoken to you periodically, but really we want to zoom out and see the big picture of your whole health, your whole experience here on this earth, if you will, of how you're moving around, you know, how you're feeling day to day, what's, you know, what you're experiencing, because it, yes, what, you know, the, the, the accelerated regeneration protocol I can usually get people's joint pain within the first few weeks down by about 50%. And then, you know, further as we go along into the next few weeks, but there's other things that are going to improve and that we will uncover. You know, a lot of people have gut issues. A lot of people have fatigue and energy issues. And we'll also take a look at, you know, maybe what, what stress and trauma um, things have been happening that, your knee can just finally release and feel, feel better. So it's really, you know, a chance to assess your whole health, not just your, your knee. Yeah. It seems like that I focus on that knee and that it's just, it's guarded mm -hmm. and it's like all my thought process is going into my knee. Like it during work, it's like, Oh, okay. I got to move over here now. Okay. Is my knee going to hurt? Is, is this going to happen? Is this mm -hmm. going to happen? Okay. I've got to really slowly get up and you know, I don't, I can't have this knee go out. I got it because I'm going to have to work tomorrow. And if the knee and goes that, out, yeah. that time and energy that you're spending either worrying about the knee, being cautious about the knee, making other plans around it, right, is also something to look at for your, your overall quality of life. So how are we doing, Bart, on my time? I think we're doing <laughs> great. So I think that's a wrap up there. Um, so my question first, then for uh, Kenny, uh, what was that all about for you and giving context? Um, You know, she let me know that there's a a bigger pro a bigger scope of you know a healing modalities out there that I might not be exploring um I'm just basically relying on what's in front of my face you know in the first page of Google um instead of actually going a little bit deeper and maybe exploring that there's people out there that don't just want to throw you know throw you into the doctor's office and then you know give you the band-aid for a little bit and then right come back out and then have to go back and pay for another band-aid and just enter into that cycle. So right. I, I was curious about like really about what her program and scopes, the whole thing, you know. Right. Excellent. Kendra, what was that all about for you in context? Um, I think it's uh it is, you know, I I I have a Facebook group for people with joint pain. And so every day I am interacting and getting new people that have all sorts of issues. You know, sometimes it can, it can take me aback a little bit of how much people are suffering out there in pain. And it's easier for me to have this conversation, you know, knowing who Kenny is and knowing what he's open and available to. Um, but yet some other people, they're like, why are you asking me about my stress levels? What does this have to do? You know, I've told you my shoulder is in pain. So it's, it's actually a good exercise for me to, you know, to be able to continue to, and you have to meet people where they are and people are at varying levels with their, you know, how open they are and interested and fed up, right. Of how, how far they've gone down, whatever, whatever process they've been on, you know, maybe with the medical procedures um, and 
yeah. And then of course, you know, personally knowing Kenny really well, um, it's his influence that has actually broadened my, my own program and, and he actually is a part of it. He is a part of, um, of these, of these conversations of let's look at Mm -hmm. what's, what's happening here and what's coming out of your mouth, you know? So, um, it's also fun, you know, funny to have that dialogue with him too. <laughs> no, that's awesome. And I was actually going to ask you if you guys actually teamed up in this context, because, you know, what you're offering is absolutely wonderful. And, and I may help, help you with a little insight or in, in a context as well. Uh, simply this, and, and I love what Kenny just said there, it's a Band-Aid. And so you may want to ask your, your clients, it says, okay, you have a choice. I mean, uh, do you just want the Band-Aid or do you want the real deal? And of course, they're always going to ask what the real, yeah, the real deal says, well, let me be clear what the real deal is. And the real deal is, is, and what I've learned over the last couple of years with all these incredible geniuses out there, really figuring out how the body does work. And the challenge with conventional medicine is we're trying to reduce it to the smallest parts so that we can give it a drug, right? So we can do a surgery or something like that. But the unified approach, right, which is very different than the holistic approach, and people get really confused with that, what that really means. And there's a lot of stigma for some people, depending on who you're talking to. But the unified approach means you talk, you're, you're addressing the entire body, everything in its complexities. And so, yes, yeah, stress is part of it. Stress is is causing dysregulation of your of your physiological systems or your cells in their ability to. Uh, deal with all those toxic attacks. And that's why I started off the podcast by saying, yeah, we live in a toxic world. I mean, even, you know, a thousand years ago or 2000 or 20,000 years ago, I mean, we are exposed to toxic influences and whether it's weather, whether it's a poison, but now with all the industrial stuff going on and all the, the, the uh, hyped up media, I mean, that's a lot of stress. And you said something very interesting to me last time about, you know, relationships and how it kind of, you know, consolidates in, I think, the the hip and maybe even the left hip. Mm -hmm. So bringing that together, I mean, that is, I get excited, to be honest with you, to hear people like yourself who bring it all together. And as doctors, we need to be working with you. I hand over the mic to you guys. <laughs> Well, last time um, I said thoughts create your reality and we and we talked about that and really um, Kenny is is my partner in business and also my partner in life and has been so for almost three years and the the experience that he has and the um, the dialogues that we have about about that exact topic, about thoughts create your reality, really pushed me into understanding that as an as a end-all be-all, not just a, oh, it's helpful if you think positive or, oh, it's nice to have a gratitude journal. It's like, no, it literally, and, and what's awesome about um, living with someone like this <laughs> is that there's a nice, respectful catching of each other it's like as soon as you know it's like oh man i hope and he'll be like watch your words and i'm like oh, it's going to be it is i am you know i am and so that's um been a huge influence in my personal and then professional carrying that over into um working with people and that's why i i I don't ha quite have the confidence yet that he does in in the ability to. So I, I tell my clients they're going to work work with the Jedi Word Master, and I turn them over to him. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, I don't know, Rick. I know, Kenny. Go ahead. And going back to your, you talked about you know people living you know ten thousand years ago, and you know I get people that ask me like, okay, well, yeah, we're living now into this area where, yeah, our food and everything's sprayed and we have all these chemicals. We're in this industrial warfare with our bodies, taking in the air, the water, the food, the, 
the media, the media is a huge thing, you know, but a long time ago, they didn't have those things. But why was there, why were they still getting into that situation where their lifespan was still short and this and that? Well, they were living in fight and flight all the time. Those neuropeptides of wondering if their village is going to be raided that night or their, you know, if they're going to be eaten by a wild animal every single day, they were on guard all the time. And those neuropeptides of fear we're just in just taking their cells over, just locking in and those cells split. And, you know, their life expectancy with that much toxicity in their cells is just going to degrade them and age them and, and bring their lifespan to, you know, 20 years. Yeah, and I think that's so relevant. And, um, you know, regardless of, of, you know, what it was like 10,000 years ago or today, the point of the matter is, and as I like to put it, is we have a choice. And this is so much more relevant today than ever before, simply because we have brilliant people like yourself who've, who've dedicated their lives to have an uh, understanding in a, in a very limited and small area of life and become a master of that. And, and that's what's great about, you know, working in collaboration. So what you're doing is perfect because you're the master in one area and Kendra is the master in the other. And, and then potentially getting even other masters to collaborate too in those areas that may, may um, a client might require as well. And so I think that's the key message that, that I like to share with people. It's, it's all about collaboration. But ultimately, you know, uh, you have to have someone taking a central role that can also curate and guide, you know, everyone else. And that's part of the mission that I'm on. Um, but what you're doing is amazing, Kendra. And, and again, I mean, Kenny, just tell us a little bit more about suffering. I'd love to hear a little bit more about suffering and how you also guide people on, on that score. Well, people, a lot of times they're suffering from most of the time. It's, it seems to me where people contact me, they are suffering from a heartbreak. They're suffering from their own thought process, you know, of they're just not good enough. They're not achieving what they desire to achieve or um, they're fighting with their spouse, their kids, everything, you know? And so what I want to get these people to understand the most is, you know, their duality, their, their pendulum. So if we're all living in a, you know, in an area of life where our pendulum swings up here and swings this way, what happens is, you know, that dramatic experience up here has to be um, followed by a dramatic experience here. We live in a world of duality, um, light and dark and love and hate. And so when we go up here, the, we want the creation starts saying, okay, you're living high on the horse, but then it has to swing to this to where, oh my gosh, I don't have a job now. I, I'm broke. I'm losing my house. Oh, I'm back up here with the brand new boat, with the brand new Mercedes, with the brand new, you know, whatever. And then it swings back. So what I try to get people is in more into that neutrality to where when their pendulum swings, it's more in a neutral way. So when their ups and their hit and their downs hit, they look almost the same. And so they're not they're not creating this this emotional response, which creates, like I said, the neuropeptides which lock into our cells and they stay in those cells, that chemical. And then they, the cell does the mitosis and splits and creates another unhealthy cell. And so that's kind of what I do is I just get people getting into that neutral way of thinking before I can start getting them into the success mode of thinking. I, I love that. You know, one of the the things that I've always committed to and and what I'm passionate about, and um, you know, Tony Robbins, you know, talks about you know what's your primary question. I have my primary statement, which is uh, creating what I'm passionate about. I create change, enhance life, and generate peaceful awareness. And kind of sort of what you're saying is that peaceful awareness. Um, but Kendra, what I love what you're doing is is you're bringing it all together. You're bringing the the body work, I'm assuming, and the nutrition. I mean, what are other components that you think are valuable for people to entertain when it comes to um, getting rid of that pain? Mm -hmm. I think um, communing with nature, you mm. know, and I think uh, understanding ancient healing practices, which are more rooted in connecting to nature 
And that's a big thing that we have been disconnected by. Here we have this great tool that allows us to connect with you across the country. Yet, uh, if we're if we do this all day, every day, which a lot of people do, um, we're no longer outside in, you know, we're getting a, a little spring reprieve here in the middle of January. So as soon as we're done, we're going to run outside. Um, so I think that's definitely a piece of it. And it's funny that you that you say it, me bringing it all together, because <clears throat> when Kenny and I were first getting to know each other and having these conversations, I actually had a bit of an identity crisis professionally because I thought, am I am I part of the problem in speaking that, oh, this thing is inflammatory. When you take this food in, when you drink the alcohol, it's going to keep your knee pain present, right? Well, am I um, perpetuating that story and making that true? And so I had to think, it took me several months. In fact, I didn't do very much with my business at that time because I really needed to get sorted and get clarity on it. However, we're kind of in this, you know, want to call it the 3D land that we live in. Um, it's the tangible thing that people can do to start. So I feel like what we do does complement each other so well. And maybe, you know, I, ideally for, for some people, if, if once you master the mind piece of that you can actually create, you could eat a Twinkie and have it, um, you know, feed all of your cells with perfect fuel, which, you know, don't try this right away. You, you need some, <laughs> you need a process to get there. Um, but, you know, that is true freedom and being in control of what you're creating in this world. But we live in the land where we have, you know, and I'm, I listen to all the functional medicine doctors and the natural healers and the Ayurvedic and da, 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 and that there is this kind of agreed upon, you know, uh, consciousness that a lot of us are aware of that. No, these tools, these are what is good. So I think it's, I think creating a discipline and food is a very challenging thing to create a discipline around but once people can learn to do that then they can stand their life other lifestyle habits of how they're sleeping and you know again how they're engaging with electronics then they can step into okay now i can have the discipline to sit and you know whether you call it meditate or contemplate or tune in and and that's kind of where kenny's expertise takes over and then whatever you want to eat if you want to survive on breath right there's breathitarians i mean you could go down that route i don't really want to because i like food too much <laughs> well that's not sustainable anyway and we know that <laughs> but but um no this is absolutely wonderful and um there's some of the things i could we could talk about but i think our time is almost up but i did want to share that language is so key and and it's called precision precision language you know makes all the difference in what you say to yourself and the truth is is that you know you could put a jar a closed jar of rice in the fridge or two of them and uh at the one jar you just speak all sorts of beautiful words and love and everything else and then the other jar uh, you probably know this experiment have you done this experiment you know this experiment right mm -hmm. and then with the other jar all hate words and then within was it so two weeks? Then you'll see that there's all mold in the one rice, and there's there's beautiful white or whatever color rice you have, the beautiful crisp rice in the other. Um, question with the experiment: Do you have to add water to it, or is it just straight dry rice? You you add water to it. You do add water to it. I, and I what that is, and what that is, is letters hold frequency when you view them. Yep. So what the rice is doing is everything is made of one thing. And that's the atom. And the atom is consciousness. So the atom is making up the rice piece, but it's still got consciousness as far as the atom because everything is made from the same thing. So it's viewing that frequency. And that's why the rice changes to dark brown and gross. Water molecular structure. We're made of water. The same thing when we speak at each other or when we read things, it's frequency. Everything is frequency here. 
Yeah, and that's one of the things that I love to talk about, by the way, but I think our time is up. But for everyone out there, frequency is key. And that's why this unified approach is so important because everything is frequency and how it all affects every single cell. Your 70 trillion cells makes all the difference. But as we wrap it up, uh, Kendra, please uh, share with the listeners how they get a hold of you and final words from you. And then we'll go with Kenny and then we'll wrap up the show. Yes. So I can be reached at Kendra Kanoy, pretty much every social platform, Facebook primarily, Instagram, and also KendraKanoy.com. And I, like I said, I do have the Facebook group for people with joint pain to um, help them view and understand that they can heal naturally without going down uh, the other path. And uh, thank you so much for having me. No, you're welcome. Kenny? Thank you for having me also. I really appreciate it. Um, you can reach me at finetuneyourfrequency.com. Okay. Or you can, if you're on social media, we have a page that people can message me directly at Fine Tune Your Frequency. On Facebook. On Facebook. And um, I'd be happy to answer any questions about mindset and frequency and getting your life back into, you know, uniform um, congruency. And any final words from you, Kenny? Um, no, just, you know, I just want to thank you for having me. This is a great show. And, you know, this is going to be very helpful for people that um, just need to know where to go and what to really hear because there's so much information out there. And it's great that you're doing this thing because it's just it's going to be a, it's going to be a a big game changer. I feel that, you know, people can just see that there's not famous you know, podcasters that are <laughs> spewing out the 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 norm and that there's actually people that do this practice and, you know, we don't need to have a show every day to, you know, reach people that people can go one on one with us where, you know, those other, you can't do it with Joe Rogan. He's not going to accept your, yeah. hey, come and hang out with me and have coffee. <laughs> you know, so this is a very special thing. And thank you. No, I, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, Kendra, did you want to say anything else? Uh, just to, to tag on to that, the, yeah, it, it is when I was first invited on by Daniel, who I was his guest, I thought, who's this doctor? Why, why would he want, I mean, I feel like I have important things to say, but you know, it's, it's, there is the the popularity of of certain podcasters out there and it's i really appreciate your approach of highlighting the you know i call it we're an army we're warriors that are you know doing the work one one person at a time to help shift the narrative of how to truly take care of our body temples and and our and our mind in and that's that movement is what you are now a you know a general of because you're curating us you know us other warriors to, together so um that and i'm excited to see where this goes for you and for all of us no and i appreciate those those beautiful words and yes you are indeed warriors you are the stars and and that's what makes this platform so special it's not me i just happen to be the host but it's really all about you guys and the magic and the wisdom and the the hope that all of you can bring to um, any of the consumers out there. And that's the whole purpose of the podcast. And my invitation to all the listeners is take some action. You know, reach out to my guests, reach out to you know anyone that can, you can uh, that can support you. But it's really ultimately up to you to decide. You know, is this the right approach? because it's your life and you can't just allow somebody else to dictate that for you. And that's where we just need to become a lot smarter. But like I said, it is a little confusing, um, actually rather confusing. And even as a doctor myself, I get very confused all the time with all the information out there. But listening to the your, your authenticity gives me the faith that, you know what, uh, I have some things I want to ask you guys. Um, and so that's, that's what it's all about. So uh, please reach out to them to uh, Kendra and Kenny. And um, the gift that you can give yourself is investing in the right people that can support you because we all deserve to be absolutely healthy. Kendra and Kenny, thank you so much. 
And I am Dr. Bart Rademacher, and this is the Doctor's Guide Podcast, raw and unfiltered, and we will be back.